guys, it's Iris. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd come on today and do a quick tutorial on how I created my mermaid unicorn look on my eyes with my Makeup Revolution Mermaids Forever palette. So if you want to see how I created this look, keep watching. Hi guys. Okay, first we're going to start with a nice clean face. Vogue, Vogue. And let's go in with our uh, intensive skin supplement from Bobbi Brown. Usually just a couple of drops, two or three drops. Boop, boop, boop. And we're going to work that onto my hands a little bit and then work it onto my face. I'll probably have to go back in with some more in just a second because this stuff dries really, really quick. So you have to work with it really fast or just go in with some more. A couple more drops. And there we go. And work this onto the bottom half of my face and down my neck. Pulling up on my face, because I've heard that pulling down on your face is bad for you, but I'm not usually aware of doing it any other time, so I don't know why I'm doing it now. Uh, vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown as well. I love this stuff. Going to take a little bit on my finger. That is actually probably too much, but we're going to work with it anyway. This is going to go all over my face and down my neck again. all over rub it in and then we're gonna have to play the waiting game and let it dry for a little while but ain't nobody got time for that so let's just go ahead and start with our foundation so i'm gonna use my super blender that i have already used and I really, really like, I really like it. It's good. Uh, using our Kat Von D Locket Foundation. Upside down. There you go. In the shade Light 44. And just a couple of pumps on our blender. There we go. And just a couple of dots around the face. And then we're going to start working it in. Got some in my hair there. I'll get it later if I feel like it. Maybe. I'm gonna get my handy mirror here so I can see what I'm doing because looking in the camera just is not working for me. I'm probably gonna have to go in with some more hair in just a second because I just don't have enough on one side of my face. See this side over here is just nah. Gonna have to go in with some more over here and go down my neck with it too, cause yep. Okay, blend this all in really good. Go ahead and do my lips too, cause why not? And we'll build on what we've already got there, cause we got to blend all of this foundation all over our face because it is full coverage and we don't want it to dry all clumpy in one spot. Okay, I think that's going to work. Now it's time to set. Oh, nope, it's time for concealer. Sorry. Uh, the NYX got you covered in the shade Ivory. And we're just going to do a little squirt onto my hand here. And use my very needs to be cleaned concealer brush here from Wet n Wild. You got to show on the brush so they know what we're using. Go under my eyes with this and I got to make sure to get all the way underneath even under my lashes so that I make sure that I have got everything covered and then go back in with that blender a 
I think I'm going to have to go and get the smaller blenders too so that I can get my concealer in there because this one is not real good at getting the inner corner. So for right now, I'm just going to go back in with just a regular makeup wedge and get that inner corner. Okay, now it's time to set. And for that, what are we going to use? Our Airspun Powder in the shade Translucent. I don't know why I'm showing it because I think that's the only shade that they make. Shake some into my cap there and use this very fluffy small contour brush that I don't use for that. All blingy. And there's already way too much product in this brush, but what the heck, I'm gonna pack more on it anyway. And go right underneath my eye there. We're gonna bake our under eye area. It's the only place that I bake my makeup. I think I've told you guys that like a thousand times already. But we're going to pack some product in there. And then with our big uh, powder brush here that there is no product on, we're going to go in and do the rest of our face. Blend, blend, blend. Set that makeup, girl. I get a little heavy-handed with my powder. Can you tell? Sometimes I don't mind my face being really cakey, though. Sometimes it's okay. Since my face eats everything that goes onto it anyway. Sometimes it's nice to have a little more than you probably should. Dust myself off there. What are we gonna do now? Now we're gonna go in with some bronzer, this NYC Sun and Bronze. And this is in the shade Hamptons Radiance. And we're gonna go in with our angled blush brush. This is from e.l.f. And swirl a little bit of that onto my brush. And right there by my temple kind of area, I'm gonna go and just put a little bit of this. I'm going to blend it down. I don't really contour, but I'm going to do this just to add a little bit of more color to my face. I don't really do this to make sure that my face is contoured. I just do it to make sure I've got color. Because sometimes, my face is already really red, so sometimes if I just use blush, I look really, really red. So I want to look more like I've got sun than redness. And sometimes I feel like it's too dark, so we're going to go back in and, and brush some of that out with our powder brush and blend it out a little bit. And then we're going to go in with this Ulta blush in the shade Girly, and I can't get it open, and I've majorly hit pan, and I don't even know if they make this anymore. I got it on clearance. Get some of that off, and we're going to blend this onto our cheeks and make sure we blend it into that bronzer. Make sure it's seamless. Gotta have some seamless color. Same thing on the other side. What am I doing with my face there? I don't know why I keep making these crazy faces. Do you ever notice the faces that you make when you put makeup on. Why am I closing my eyes like that? What, what am I doing? See, more, more faces. Why am I making faces? All right, blend that out with this powder brush again so we're not too red. Let's see faces again. Why, 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 why? Okay, now we're gonna go in with our Makeup Revolution. I don't know, what, see, what am I doing again? Show them what we're using, girl. <laughs> we're using our Makeup Revolution Mermaids Forever palette to create our eye look today. I love this palette. Love it, love it, love it. But we're gonna need, we're gonna start with this uh, seafoam color and I can't find my brushes. Hold a moment. Okay, found my brushes. They're clean now. I do get them. Alrighty, now we're going to go 
start on these eyes. We're going to use this seafoam color here. And going in with this flat eyeshadow brush again from Wet n Wild. And this is going to go on the inner corner of my eye. I have to tell you guys, I was very surprised when I put these on because the other day I had to use them wet. And today, for some reason, they were like extremely pigmented as soon as I put them on. I don't know, maybe I just had to work into, um, work into the palette a little bit before, you know, how you kind of maybe have to work into the powders before you really get to the really good pigment part. I don't, I don't really know. Or maybe it's because I had a good base on my eyes from the foundation and the concealer and the moisturizer and all. But anyway, they worked really well today. So we're going to put this uh, seafoam color on the inside corner of our eyes and just go maybe about halfway across. And then with this uh, brush here, we're going to use... No, not that one. We're going to use this purple right here. It's kind of a monochrome. And we're using this... Uh, Coastal Scents Bamboo Brush, Eyeshadow Brush. And this is where I get really confused because that's not what I was doing next. And I still don't know what I'm doing. We're going to go in with another brush like the other one. It's This is a Coastal Scents as well. Uh, it's just not the Bamboo Edition. We're going to go in with a pink And with that, we're going to go and do the rest of our eyelid. So from the outer corner in, and blend that in with the uh, seafoam color. Same thing on the other side. Make sure we get the colors blended together very well. Sometimes I'll even go back in and retouch some colors so I make sure that I blend it back in together. Now we're going to go in with this uh, Luxie brush. It's the number 231, but you can't see it. So let me demonstrate for you. It is the 231. <laughs> now we're going to go in with our monochromatic purple. And with this one, we're going to do kind of the crease area. My crease is really low, so I just, above where you just put everything else, we're going to work that from the outer corner and then in to the inner corner of the eye, but most of it needs to be to your outer corner. Make sure you blend it out really good. Sometimes I'll even bring it down into the other colors to make sure that everything is blended. And maybe even touch up some of those colors and bring them into the purple. Keep everything nice and blended. Same thing on the other side, going in with that purple from the outer corner in and all the way across the top of those other colors. Okie dokie. That's done now. The next step will be just this, this brush that I'm using here. Uh, there's this kind of shimmery yellowish tone color and that I'm gonna use uh, in the corner of my eye here just to kind of brighten that up a bit. And 
And I'll even kind of bring it into uh, that seafoam color a little bit. And just with a little fluffy brush here, I'm just going to brush any fallout that I have from underneath my eyes. Nice and cleaned up there. Okay, now we're going to do our eyebrows. And for that, I'm going to need to pull out this behemoth of a makeup kit. This is my Ulta 75 piece kit that my husband bought me for Christmas. That I love. And this side panel here, we're going to use our brows here. There's two brow powders and a brow wax. And with this, really this is an eye sh uh, a liner brush, but we're going to use it for our brows because it is a little bit more precise. But first we're going to brush these brows. Most people brush their brows up. I like mine to stay kind of natural and I like to just brush mine in the direction that they grow. With this middle color, it's the lightest one. We're going to use that one for our brows. And I'm sorry if you can't really see what I'm doing, but I do my, uh, the tail of my brows first because that is the hardest part for me. It's not always really precise. Sometimes it's a little bit too thick. So I like to go in and do that part first and then fill everything else in. And I just follow the natural direction of my brow. If I have to go above it a little bit to kind of give it the right shape, that's fine. But I'm still basically following the same pattern as my brows are naturally. Now we're going to go in with this brow wax and with this actual eyebrow brush we're going to go in with that. I don't use that one to put the color on my eyes because I've had it forever and it's not real, uh, it's kind of thick. So I don't get really good precision on the tail of my brow so I don't really use that to put the color on anymore. Just use it to kind of put my the brow wax in and make sure everything is down and sleek and fleeky. Can't believe I just said that word. Same thing on the other side. We're going to do the tail first. Got to get this hair out of my way. It's hot in here. And I couldn't turn the fan on because my new backdrop was going to sway if I did that. And I didn't want to make anybody seasick. Okay, going to do the tail of our brow again first. And then draw the rest of the brow in and fill that in really good. Get our shape going then nicely the way we want it. Okay. Then we'll go back in with our brow wax. Not yet. We're still making shapes. Now we're going to do our brow wax. And get all those extra stray hairs that are sticking out. Make sure that we get those tacked down with our brow wax. Sisters, not twins but sometimes they don't even look related. Like if they're friends, they are definitely not close. But sometimes you just gotta go with it, right? Okay, gonna put that away. And now we're gonna go back into our palette here. And this shimmery white shade right here, we're gonna put that on our brow bone. So go right underneath the brow and make it pop. Most people, I think, like to use a neutral shade under their brow bone. I don't. I'm a little, I'm a little bit stuck in the early 2000s. <laughs> I like to use a really shimmery white on my brow bone area. I don't know. It's just what I prefer. Get that worked in really good. 
Every now and then I'll use a neutral shade, but most of the time I'm going to use a shimmer white. And I'll even kind of bring that into my inner corner where I put that yellow, just to kind of marry that together. Looking good. I'm digging it. Happy dance. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. Let's think about it. Let's go say bye bye to all of these brushes if I can get back where they belong. And let's take this uh, little gel eyeliner brush that I got with a gel liner. I don't even know where it came from. Back in with that seafoam color. And we're going to go under our bottom lash line with that. And this is going to be our bottom uh, eyeliner color. Okay, back to work. Now let's go back in with this seafoam color on this little eyeliner brush and we're going to go under our bottom lash line. And I'm pulling that almost all the way to the inner corner of my eye. I'm just working it in, kind of smoking it a little bit. And then with this yellow shimmery color, we're going to go to the uh, outer corner of the eye where we already put it to accentuate. And we're going to drag that in to the seafoam color just to kind of connect every all those colors together. Same thing on the other side, taking that seafoam. Excuse me, you're probably not going to be able to see me, but I'm going to take that uh, seafoam color and put it under this eye. I've always got these these two lashes on this outer corner of this eye that stick together all the time and it drives me nuts. Okay, go in with that seafoam color underneath this bottom lash line. Once again, just kind of smoking it out a little bit. And then we'll go back with our shimmery yellow color and go from the inner corner. I will have in the description box down below the exact colors, the exact shades. I don't have them right now. I'm going to have to go online and look up exactly what those shades are. But um, I'll put that in the description down below so that you see exactly what colors I'm using. Okay, looking good. The sun was kind of glaring on me, so... I'm digging it, looking good. Now, we're gonna do our eyeliner. And we're gonna use our NYX Matte Liquid Liner in black. Cause, you know, black. And I'm going to try to resist the urge to wing this liner today because I really don't want to mess up what I've just done. And I'm sorry that you can't see what I'm doing. I really shouldn't have done liner on camera anyway. Uh, I can't resist. I'm going to have to do at least a little flick because, you know, you got to create a little bit of drama, right? Just a little bit of a swoopy flick on the end of my liner there. Nothing too crazy. Little, 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 little one. Okay, let's do the other eye. And 
just lining that top lash line like you normally would. And then I'll go and put a little bit of a flick on the end of my liner here too. I'm sorry that you're having to stare at the back of my hand in a mirror. Okie dokie. And let's create the flick on the end of this one. Not really, I mean, it's not so much a wing. It really is just like a little flick on the end of my liner. Whenever I try to do a wing, I always end up messing it up. And it doesn't match. At least when I do something small like this, if it doesn't match, it still kind of is okay. And it never matches. They don't match, but I don't care. Who cares? I'm not going nowhere. I'm gonna be home all day. Okay, so now we need to do some mascara and I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Telescopic. It is not waterproof, but you guys, I love this stuff. But first I've got to comb my lashes because I just used that liquid liner. It usually gets on my lashes, so I like to comb and separate all that out a little bit. And then if I can pull any debris from it out of my lashes, I like to do that too, so that I don't get clumpy. Let's clean up any fallout that I have under my eyes again. And now we're going to apply this mascara, something else that I probably should not have done on camera, but I did it anyway. I love this stuff. It doesn't clump. It separates my lashes. I really, really, really like it a lot more than I thought I would. Same thing on the other side. Let's comb out any liquid liner that I've gotten in my lashes and then clean any of that out that I can get to. I promise you that doesn't hurt. <laughs> Back in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I got a little bit on my lid there, but that's okay. I can clean that up. I can go back in with uh, that eyeshadow color and just clean that up a little bit. Good deal. Now we got to do the bottom lash line, and I don't use that. I use this uh, Maybelline Great Lash. It's waterproof. And that's why I use it on my bottom lids. I mean, my bottom lids, my bottom lashes. Have you guys subscribed to, um, subscribed? Have you guys started following me on Instagram yet? It's BalexiBeauty82, just like it is here. And in case you don't have your notifications on, on YouTube, I post videos or pictures or whatever there when I upload new videos. And also, like, little snippets every now and then of things that I can't really put on YouTube. Because, you know, who wants to watch 30 seconds on YouTube? Looking good. Now we got to do our lips. And for that, we are going to use... I don't really know what we're going to use. We're going to use some purple. Maybe some pink. Let's use the purple. This is the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Run the World. And I think I have an idea. Kind of got to line my lips with this color. 
And then I'm gonna use a different shade on the rest of my lips. I'm gonna try to create kind of an ombre effect here. And it doesn't really matter that I didn't line them perfectly because I look like I have a purple mustache. <laughs> but it doesn't matter if I have them lined perfectly because I'm going to put another color on this and we're going to smut it and blot it all together anyway. Now we're going to use our Makeup Revolution uh, liquid lipstick. I'll have that shade put down in the description bar as well. But that's what we're going to use on the inside of our lips. And we're going to create a lovely little ombre effect here on our lips. I'm digging it. What do you guys think? Looks good. I'm digging it. Alrighty, we're all finished. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram.